Hi, I'm Alicia from Air Compressor Services in Greenville, South Carolina. Today, we're going to show you how to change the air filter in your rotary screw compressor. Air filters are the first line of defense against foreign contaminants that can decrease the life of your air compression system or your compressor oil. Please note, before beginning any air compressor maintenance, you always need to have your personal protective equipment. Now let's get started. Make sure your area is clear and free from hazards. Materials needed to change this particular air filter are gloves, screwdriver, a new air filter, and lockout tagout mechanism. Lockout tagout is the first and most important part of safety protocol. Notice our technician during the process. As he locks out the handle, he uses his right hand and turns to the left. This is to avoid a possible arc flash. He then checks to make sure the panel is locked securely. Check the control panel to verify that the power is truly disconnected. The next step is to isolate the air system by turning the handle to the off position. Using a screwdriver, remove the four screws or fasteners from the panel that protects the air filter. Then carefully remove the panel. Unscrew the wing nut holding the old air filter in place and remove the washer. Then carefully remove your old air filter. Install the new air filter, being mindful that the threaded rod pokes through the end of the filter. Add the washer over the threaded rod and hand tighten the wing nut to secure the filter in place and ensure a tight seal. Now, reinstall the panel over the air filter compartment to complete the install. Now that you have your air filter replaced, we need to safely power the unit back up. Slowly turn the air supply valve to the on position. It is now safe to remove the lockout tagout mechanism. Just like before, turn away as you power on the panel.